Charlie Curious Welcome back to another video. It is me, girl, Brianna Marie. You're tuning into another tutorial, and this tutorial is gonna be on this beautiful bronzy look, y'all. And it's it's eating. Um, when I took the videos, baby, it's eating. Okay, you know how sometimes you uh, do a look and you see the person, you be like, oh, it's cool. That video eats. Okay, eats. I was tipsy doing this too. So, I feel like my eyebrows are too small, but y'all, let me know what y'all think about this look. Y'all know I'm a perfectionist. So, I really want y'all to get into this look. If y'all want to see this look, then keep on watching. So, I haven't been on here in a minute. And baby, in my cup, okay? Because we got something in our cup. This is Tito's and raspberry lemonade and a little bit of lime juice from Simply. Y'all know the Simply Juices? So I mix that in. Baby, I've been listening this this morning, okay? So I'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow, so I don't think I'm gonna be plucking my eyebrows like that. Oh, I just hate that. Y'all, you know I love my eyebrows when it's clean slate, but it's okay. I'm about to go do my brows. I'm going in with my P. Louise. Y'all already know, these are my favorite brow pomades. These are the shades Espresso and Bocchino. Y'all, period. So, okay, y'all. Adding and Brie coming in. And, of course, I want to do a voiceover on some parts. So, for brows, I already powdered them. And you're going to take a small angle brush and just go ahead and draw your line at the bottom and also the top. Going with your natural brows, y'all. And you're going to go ahead and fill the back part in. I like to use a darker shade towards the back. And in the front, I like to use a lighter shade, y'all. And with the tip of the angle brush that you're using to fill your brows in, you're going to go ahead and take the tip of it and flicker it up for brow hairs. And do it ever so lightly, y'all. That's how you get that bomb brow. I'm going to take a lighter concealer towards the back. And then in the front and on top, I'm going to take a concealer that's kind of close to my skin tone or like one shade lighter. Because I don't really want a halo effect. I just really want the brow bone arch to be light y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and take my base this is a be fierce beauty base in the shade ic zero i'm gonna put this all over my eyes and we're gonna go ahead and start doing this transition y'all y'all know i like to let my base dry i like to blend it out so i'm gonna add this on and i also did my eyebrows really small today i don't know why the brush that i'm going in with is a zoeva 142 concealer buffer brush and i love this brush i haven't stopped using this since it's been years y'all They couldn't live with this mix. I ain't even go lie. Alright, y'all just blend out my eyes. Well, my base. And now I'm gonna go into this Juvia's Place palette right here. This is the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark color right here. So with my kind of style of eyeshadow, I love to go in a round shape motion. Um, I don't like ever like wing it out or anything, but just go in a round motion and go all the way into the front. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Zulu palette. Y'all know I'm taking my brown shade right here. Like, this is my favorite color. Murphy 5, 453 brush. And the brush that I used the first time, I don't even know what brush that was, but it's a flat brush. Any flat brush will work. When focusing on building the colors, just make sure the colors are blended. And then you're gonna go back in and blend everything to make it opaque in the way that you want. I'm blending out those two colors. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more base on my lid and blend out the base to basically open up my lid for a shadow that's supposed to be on my lid. Now you know I'm tipsy. I said lid like five times. Anyways, I'm gonna blend this out and get ready for the actual lid color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Nova Beauty palette and I'm gonna take, I take, I always take this shade right here. This is so pretty. Um, This is called Drip. I'm gonna take Drip and I'm gonna apply this. This blush I'm taking actually applying really good this is a morphe e30 brush looking at that brush right there it looks like a very good brush and it is i have so many brushes in this bucket right here and i just be like taking them out and not knowing what brushes i have 
So I'm going back in, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the outer part to close everything and make sure everything is blended. And I also took that black or that brown, let me say brown because it's not black, all the way into the inner part. I also went ahead and took a brown and seamlessly blend that into the brown, dark brown shade and also went into the front, y'all. Now I'm about to do a wing liner. Now, wing liners can get intense, y'all. So, normally what you should do is start from the lower lash line where your um, bottom lashes are at. And then you want to go up and then come down from like about two inches from the tip that you drew. And then there you go. It's a wing liner, y'all. And just clean it up and make it neat. Now, I honestly think my lashes were two different lashes, but don't don't quote me. I don't really know. Anyway, it's on to the face. I went ahead and I took my ColourPop Bow Filter Foundation Stick in the shade 210 um, C Deep, I think. And I'm going to leave everything in the description bar below. But I did go ahead and do the reverse method. I've been doing this for a very long time. I really like it this way because you don't have to apply so much foundation. And that is a good thing because when applying so much foundation, things get cakey and you don't want that. So this is a good method. And I feel like if y'all haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. But I did take the ColourPop and um, 210 Deep. And then I took my foundation. I don't even know what foundation I use. <laughs> It's probably Spice Rum because I've been using Spice Rum lately in the matte foundation from Too Faced. And I went ahead and added my concealer, y'all. Now, I know that my concealer is really bright. I love a bright under eye. I want to do a tutorial where I'm going to show you the correct tones for me to use. And I won't brighten under the eye. So, it could just be like, okay, what tones are actually for me? But that's just me. It's editorial. I like a bright under eye, y'all. That's just what I like. You don't have to do it, but I will show you the correct tones and what I should use when it comes to actually concealing. But I went ahead and blended out all the concealer and I added my powder. This powder is from Maybelline. I think, yeah, I think it's from Maybelline. It's a Fit Me one. And when I tell y'all that concealer is good, it is so good. And I use a lighter one as well, only under the eye. And then I use Sasha Buttercup and all the other areas that I conceal. For bronzer, I just went ahead and bronzed um, with my Juvia's Place bronzer. And then I also went ahead and set my face with MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW50. Now, I miss MAC, okay? I'm not even going to lie. But I don't know. Their brand is, like, not as, you know, out there anymore. I know people still go, but I do use some of the stuff from MAC. You know, they do have some good stuff. I ain't going to lie. I do have some lipsticks also. That I need to get out and use. They probably old and um I need new ones. Like they not good to use. But anyways, I did add my blush y'all. So if y'all not shopping with me for my blushes, they are already out. It's already released. Go ahead and shop. But y'all, that is it. I want to spray my face after I wipe down my powder. And then we're gonna go ahead and do these molds, which I just basically take my liquid liner. On to the lips, I did go ahead and take my Noble Beauty lip liner in the shade Brown 02. And then also for liquid lipstick, I went ahead and took Sand from Dosa Color. That's like my favorite, y'all. Like, I cannot stop using it. It's just like perfect. After my liquid lipstick, I do go ahead and blend everything in as far as putting shadow on it. And also going ahead and taking my Brown 02 to blend everything in i'm taking about business from my lip gloss line and then i'm also going to go ahead and take nova beauty's thick lip gloss and that's clear and y'all i love that on top of a brown liner thank you guys so much for tuning into this tutorial i hope that y'all enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe the emojis that we're going to leave down below is an ice cream cone i like an ice cream cone so we're gonna leave an ice cream cone emoji down below. I'm crying. I just hate that. Like when you do a look and then you just start crying, that pisses me off. Let me go with y'all think about this look. But until then, I'll see y'all in another video. Bye.